Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to do a quick update on the World Tournament building, team building guide. Um, I haven't done one in a while, so I figured let's go ahead and just start it and get one over with. So that way, those of you who are new to the game can actually, you know, do well and do some uh, do some damage. Now, the main idea of the World Tournament is you want to bring an AOE or an attack all character. I'm over here in the wiki, so shout out to the wiki, shout out to DokkanBattleBuilder.com, because I'm pretty much using both of those sites for it to help me out to show you guys what's going on. Attack all character means, um, uh, well, AOE is area of effect or mass damage or essentially attacks everyone on the field. So you have a team of seven people, you get a super attack launch and it will attack everyone. Now these are all the attack all characters. This is a Trunks, he's Doken Waken variant of his SSR form. His SSR form does not do an AOE. This is LR Broly, this is the OG Broly, this is Arale. Now most of you, if you're new, are not gonna be able to get Arale at all. Um, LR Broly is very, very rare summon. Um, the OG Broly is easier to obtain but we haven't had anything like the stones for a very long time. I think maybe it was Christmas was the last time we got the stone. But don't worry, next month we'll, we should be getting another red stone, which will give you a free one if you want to pick him. If you want to select him, I'll also do a stone update video. Um, you have Vegeta, Majin Vegeta over here, which is a uh, rare summon, which is more common to pull. You have the free-to-play Raditz. If you guys grabbed him, that's awesome. His TUR variant is an AOE. LR Majin Vegeta, Cell 11 Key is kind of um, uh, an AOE, but you're really never going to run him because he kind of sucks. He's never going to do enough damage to wipe out the team, or uh, the opposing team. And you have Chow Man from the Fusion Summons from a long time ago, which if you're new, you probably don't have him. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of people over here. Uh, pretty much is what we're going to do. I'm just going to say these are all the guys over here. They all link decently together, but you're not really looking for links when it comes to this team. You're pretty much just looking for as much damage as you possibly can. So... Um, what, what do you really want to do? Obviously, you want to have one of the LRs, either LR Broly or LR Majin Vegeta as your primary pick. If not, then you're going to want to go with the sub-tier. Um, the two summonable, well, this one's a Dokkan exclusive, but the other, the Technique Majin Vegeta and the uh, Strength Broly. Now, with that being said, um, the Strength Broly is really OP. He's a really good card once you get him to level 140. The Majin Vegeta, you need a nuker lead. Broly, you would, I would still prefer you run a nuker lead, uh, unless you have um, a good, like maybe a Janemba leader might help him out get to clear the field, but it still might leave some agility stragglers. Uh, outside of that, any of these guys on the bottom may suffice. Like, if this is going to be your S tier, all right? This is going to be your A tier. <clears throat> and these two will be your lower A tier, and these guys are going to be like your B tier, your crap. That's in my opinion on how this is going to run when you're trying to run a nuker, or at least when you're trying to run an AoE team in the World Tournament. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it without an AoE team. If you do ha not have an AoE team, you're probably going to want to stay away from 30-time multiplier. You're probably going to want to bring one of your best teams. I mean, any any type of category team should be fine, uh, but it definitely makes it easier with categories. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, in terms of mono strength team, you have these two over here who are really good for AoE, obviously, and you have a Raleigh, right? But now I have these guys over here. All of these guys, they are or key, they are all key orb manipulators. You go over to the wiki and type in key change and you will see that. Um, you could also throw a Weirus up in here, I believe. Um, actually, you can't throw a Weirus up in there because Weirus is only for physical. So you don't want to do Weirus. Weirus will be good for someone like the um, uh, the Trunks, the Xeno Trunks that we had talked about. But these guys are all key orb manipulators. Now, the one thing is the Boo and the Fasha, the two of them change intelligence to strength. And these two are Gokuas and they both change agility to strength. Now you want that, you prefer, we all prefer type to type, I prefer type to type myself. Um, I do not recommend ever bringing a rainbow to type, if you don't have anything else, you might you might want to bring something like the Goten, uh, because the Goten is a key orb manipulator, he will do um, physical to rainbow, so like let's bring him up in here real quick. I don't, I personally don't like running him, just will, I will run him, but I don't like running uh, the physical or a type to rainbow, just because it's, it's not as beneficial to getting the attack damage, but it can be beneficial to you um, if you're running a nuker lead. But anyway, with that being said, these guys are all key orb manipulators that you can run on one team. You definitely want to have key orb manipulators on the team, especially if you're running a nuker lead. Now you may be asking, well, what's a nuker lead? Well, we're going to get into that in a second. These will change all the key orbs to make sure these guys are getting their attacks. LR Broly, um, specifically want to get between um, 12 to 17 key. Once he goes over that, he's going to launch one major attack, and then the second one will be an AoE. So you really want to be careful with that to make sure you don't get too much, too many key orbs out there. 
Um, but that will be good. Technically, you really want to do that for the Majin Vegeta, the, the Agility Majin Vegeta, because the Agility Majin Vegeta doesn't launch an AoE until he's at 18 plus key. Um, but this is what, typically what I would run for my LR Broly, and I typically don't have any problem. And by the way, if you do get that point where you have your LR Broly, and your LR Broly is going to go over 18 or more key, just target an Agility unit if there's an agility unit going to attack you at some point in the turn that specific turn a target that unit if not look at the second tier of units so if you're looking at your screen the first three characters you see are going to attack you first and the next three characters you see are going to attack you next usually when you bring an lr broly onto the field you can you can just wipe everyone out if you get a double aoe if not look at your first field the first three characters see which one's an agility attack that one if they're not attacking first like the first first slot if that if you can't do that or there's no one there look at the second tier the second set of three and attack one of them if there's only the seventh slot that's the agility one then just attack that one and get them out of the way um but that will help you not get hit by an agility unit definitely comes in handy when you're doing the um 30 time multiplier trust um now in terms of nuker leads which i was saying before all these guys over here that you see up on the screen these are all nuker leads they specifically they specifically do attack boost per type key orb obtained so Frieza is a nuker lead. If you get an agility key orb, you get a 33% attack buff per key orb. So you want the key orb manipulators that allow you to increase your attack uh, from, or it allowed them to manipulate the key orbs to agility, so that way you can increase your attack. The same thing with this um, this tech god Goku card, the blue Goku card. These two actually, it's, it's interesting because they have two intelligence leaders, and the two intelligence leaders have the same exact passive attack plus their or same attack leader skill, attack plus 33% per same key orb obtained. So intelligence, uh, the only one we have here is going to be for the Raditz. You definitely want to bring these guys if you have a Raditz, if you're going to be using Raditz. Raditz won't go too far in the world tournaments. So you need these nuker leads. The physical Vegeta, if you're going to be running the Xeno Trunks. Um, and then you have the great uh, ape, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT Go Golden Giant Ape. You can run him on the as a leader for your, uh, your strength team. Um, if you plan on bringing someone like Arale or the OG Broly. Now, you only really need to bring one. The, the, this is going to be the only leader ability that actually comes into effect. Remember, either the friend leader that you take is not going to help you out uh, just because it's ne negated. So keep that in mind as well. But all these guys for the specific type that you have. So like for the, the Technique Majin Vegeta, definitely have him. Um, and if you don't have any of these guys and you don't have any of the good AoEs like the OG Broly um, or if you don't have the... Um, Tech Ma or the, the Agility Majin Vegeta or the LR Broly or the OG Broly or even even this guy over here, you, you definitely need to have those uh, Nuker Leads. If you don't have any Nuker Leads and you don't have any of these top tier uh, AoEs, you're probably going to want to stay on the lower levels. Um, or if you have a really good category team, then you might be able to take on the higher levels without any problem. It'll just take you a little bit longer. Obviously, you want to make sure that you, uh, that you don't want to spend too much time battling. You want to try and beat the tournament as quick as you can. At the highest difficulty you can you know lo look to see um the the different levels that you do it like 20 times 25 30 um versus how long it takes you to complete each one and how many points you get from each one and calculate how what is the quickest way for you to beat the each tournament and increase your points and that's pretty much what you want to do anyway key change this is going to be the, pa the page in the in the wiki go to key change or type in key change and it'll just bring it'll bring this up to you again uh, particularly i like type to type specifically go here and look for which one you want to do type to type is my favorite so you go over here see which ones you have for the type to type key or manipulation and that will help you set up a good team um the, so like for the uh vegeta for, uh, the xeno trunks team uh one of the two really good type to types are going to be the weirest he they change two or he changes two key orb to physical which is technique and intelligence and you also have the kefla super saiyan 2 kefla and Super Saiyan 2 Kefla will change um, the intelligence to physical as well, so it kind of does the same job as weird. But don't let that knock you from running both of them on the same team just because they change the same uh, types. Remember, if you keep them on, or if when they're off primary rotation, the other one comes up, it's still going to benefit you. It may not benefit you when both of them are on the same rotation, but uh, if you don't have them both on the same rotation, after you use some orbs, there could be more intelligence orbs, and that's just going to help you out even more. So definitely don't don't be hesitant to run people who change the same type to the same type. All right. Um, outside of that, let's go take a look. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, this is going to be the Raditz. You're going to want to run the uh, let's see, you would run either the the Beerus or the Baby Two Super Baby Two um, Giant Ape version. And if you run him, you're going to want to bring the key change of let's see for intelligent either the, the one of these two Gokus or the Trunks. So it's, it's the same Goku, I'm pretty, yeah, it's the same Goku or the Trunks. That's gonna be your goal. 
Um, next one would be the Chow Man and the Trunks, which we already talked about. You know, Trunks, which I already talked about. Um, the Agility one, I kind of brought everyone here just because it's Majin Vegeta, and you definitely want... You definitely, definitely want to make sure you have key to get him to 18 key or more. Um, that's definitely going to be highly beneficial to you. So either run him as a leader if you have it, or run like uh, the Super 17 because he is a leader there. Um, that'll definitely help you out. Uh, let's see, do I have... Okay, now we're going to talk about them in a second. Um, yeah, that, that, that's... It. Vegeta Disambiguation. I want to bring up the Majin Vegeta for you really quick because... He's not really part of any categories that are going to be beneficial as of right now, but he will be in the in the future. So, let's see. Right now, he's... Oh, actually, he is. He's part of Resurrected Warriors category, and actually, so is the LR Broly. So, if you happen to have the Angel Frieza, the Extreme um, Angel Frieza with the TUR variant, he is a phenomenal leader. That's this guy right here. He will give the best buffs for Vegeta and for the, the LR Broly. Um, resurrected category, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. Um, that will definitely help out your uh, Vegeta, making sure he most likely is going to get a one-shot kill when you're getting up to 24 key. Now, you have the two Tarables over here. You can uh, run either one of them on this team, so that way you get the key or manipulation. Um, then you have the uh, Extreme Janemba. Also, don't worry about having every single one of your characters link up underneath the Fusion type or the Fusion, the Category type or the Attribute type. It doesn't matter too much. You're really focusing on your one anchor to AoE everything. Um, in terms of items, uh, Ghost Usher, you definitely want to bring Ghost Usher. Um, you want to bring a Sensu Bean, uh, just for the lower levels anyway, but a Ghost Usher and uh, anything that will prevent super attacks from coming. Anything that, like a King Yemma, I, I bring uh, King Yemma when I'm on 30 time multiplier. If I'm out of Ghost Ushers, I'll do a double King Yemma, stuff like that, just so that way they can't do it. Or damage reduction, I'll do a double damage reduction with Icaruses or something like that, just to make sure that I don't die, because you want to get to the end of the round. You want to keep that bonus going. Anyway, uh, you have the Android 18 over here. You have the two different Janembas over here. They're key orb manipulators. They're all for Majin Vegeta. Now, I did see you did see me bring up over here this Chiaotzu, this SR Chiaotzu, and there is this Tech Jocko. Now, both of these guys are the main stars of the World Tournament. You're like, why? They're just SR cards. No. For those of you who are new, as soon as they come on the field, their passive skill is broken. Like, literally, it's actually broken. Um, it says, may stun, stun all enemy. The first time that these two come on the field, Per battle, they stun every single enemy on the field. So it doesn't matter when, doesn't matter at, at what time. As soon as they are on the field for the first time, everyone is stunned. So that helps you out. Having both of them on your team will make it so that way everyone, when you you have a high chance, first off, a very high chance for you to be able to uh, have the, the entire team stunned. You can manipulate everyone around so that way you can get the AOE set up, and then you can just destroy everyone on the field. Now, uh, with that being said, this is typically what I run. Right over here, this is typically what I run. I usually have my Broly, my LR Broly, and um, an LR Broly friend if I could find one. I have Jocko and I have Chiaotu on my main rotation. And this is for a really preliminary rounds because that's the only time you can kind of keep it like that. Outside of that, it's kind of difficult to, uh, just because you're um, you're pretty much going to one-shot everyone after that. But preliminary, this is how I try to keep it. Um, and then I have three key orb manipulators. Sometimes, well, this guy's usually substituted out for the Goten, um, but it doesn't really matter. You can throw whoever you want there. Um, and this is pretty much what I'm running. I keep my Broly as a leader just because he is a 90% leader and it benefits my friends who want to play the World Tournament. That way they can, you know, be benefited from that as well. Sometimes I will run the Janemba leader if I get a couple of close calls and I want to play it safe. Or something like if I'm drinking or something like that or if I'm extremely tired or not paying attention. I'll set like a Janemba lead. Now that I have the Frieza, I will set my Revive Frieza lead if I'm not paying attention. It will help prevent me from dying. Um, but like when I'm paying attention, I'm actually going hard on the world tournament. I usually set my LR Broly as the leader so that way my friends can benefit from it. Key Orb Manipulator's over here, the two stunners over here. Um, if you want to throw the Goten over here, he does have the Super Saiyan link, so at least when he's there, you can throw LR Broly right in the middle, and he will get the Super Saiyan buff, though it's not like he needs it or anything like that. Um, if you have the LR Broly and the TUR Broly, they will kind of be beneficial. You don't really need them too much. They only link for uh, three key, so it's not like it's going to be a huge benefit. And he does do enough damage. You don't need to get a TUR Broly on the team. Again, he's just a st uh, stand-in right now for the LR Broly. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I run anyway. If you guys are looking for teams that are not AoE, I don't have time to do that right now. Um, but just know that AoE is definitely going to be the way to go. If you don't have an AoE, like I said earlier in the video, uh, category teams are most likely going to be your best bet. You could get away with 120 teams, definitely but I would probably stay away from the 30 time multiplier and stay to the lower ones, maybe like up to 20 time multiplier. But again, it's up to you and your experience in the game. If you're comfortable with it, go for it. 
But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.